Uh, I'm not going to mess around too much before I start this. This is going to be a lesson on speed picking. One of my favorite things to develop. It's lots of fun. It's a great challenge. Um, and the great part about it is I'm pretty sure just about anyone could do it. You, you just have to practice. Just like everything else, you just have to take it very slow. And I'll show you the proper technique to developing your speed playing. There's a bunch of different ways and different methods by people. I use logic and science, which usually works for everything. So here's how I do it. I just play real quick. Now, uh, what you want to do is, first of all, your left hand has to be able to play the notes on its own legato-wise as fast as you want to pick. Because if your notes on the left hand aren't doing it, it's going to sound really, like crap. So what you want to do is first get your legato down. But if I'm assuming right now you have your legato to a certain degree and you want to get your picking up to the same point, great. That's what we're going to work on. Uh, now, if you didn't see my other videos yet, I'm an economy picker. So uh, if you like my speed and style or whatever, um, get into my other lessons. I'm going to do one on nothing but economy soon. Every one of my lessons, I think, has a little bit of economy in it. But um, what you want to do is, once you get your legato going, which I'll show you exercises for that, too, in another video soon, very soon, um, to get your right hand going. It's about synchronization between the two of them. So you have to play, you have to play um, consistent with both hands. You can't just try to go real fast. It's good too every once in a while, um, but you want to maintain control over both of them together. So this means metronome, like crazy. Um, I'm not going to put mine on because I'm sure you don't want to keep hearing my clicking metronome. So grab a metronome. Uh, you can get a free one online that just it'll click for you. And then what you want to do is just practice uh, first. Practice single string stuff like to go. You don't want to just do down, 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 down. You want to go up to And you want to go alternating. So you get your single string patterns like that. It doesn't have to be those three fingers. It could be whatever. Uh, use your pinky, too. Make sure you get your pinky strong because you're going to need it. You know, you need that extra finger. It's uh, a necessity. So if you're sucking with your pinky and you're like, ah, oh, I can play these cool licks without using my pinky, um, just develop it. Do yourself a favor and really work on it. But that's left hand, so I won't get into that. But for your picking, once you get that speed developed with those little exercises I'm doing, simple little things like that, I'm not going to go into the specific ones right now because you could find a bazillion of them online. All you're really doing is syncing up both hands. Uh, so do make sure you use all fingers and get all different shapes going on, stretches, whatever. But the picking hand and what you're picking uh, is very important. Firstly, I want to tell you I use a severely stiff pick. It's made out of bulletproof glass. It's from Dunlop. Uh, it's three millimeter, which is very, very thick. And the reason I select that is because when I'm playing, I don't want the string to displace the pick. I want the pick to displace the string. And the reason for that is I want to be in control of my plane. I don't want the strings to like knock my pick where the, wherever it wants. You know, the, with a, a loose pick or whatever, with a non-tight pick, it'll it, that's a problem. So you want a solid pick like a Jazz Three or one of these. I love these. Uh, the reason I like these more than a Jazz Three, these are glass, so they're slippery, which means you displace the string faster, which means you can play faster and cleaner. Now there's one other thing I do. You don't want to pick up close to the neck because when you pick over here, as you can hear, the um, the strings at this section vibrate wider than they will closer to the bridge because when it's closer to the bridge, there's less room for it to move around. And it's tighter there. It's a very minute difference, but when you practice up there, it will allow you to go faster. It's scientific physics. All right, so you want to pick clo as close to the bridge as you can comfortably. On this guitar, the homemade one. I don't have a uh, low profile bridge on it, so it kind of sucks. You can't really pick too close because your hand's bumping all the tuners and stuff. So you want to get as close as you can, right in between the middle pickup and the, the bridge pickup, if you can, right about there. And 
do your work right about there. Now the next step is, when you're picking, I have a nice exercise. You want to stay on the string pretty much as close as you can. You don't want to go like this. You want to stay really close to it. So you want to do this exercise. And you want to pick back and forth on the same string, but always keep it touching the string. And don't pick deep. You want to pick shallow. You don't want to pick in. You want to just use the very tip of the pick. So I go like this. Okay. So then you do um, single string stuff. Once you get that down, start working on just two strings, even just adding two. So you, if, if this is your pattern. Another good technique, once you start getting into this and you really want to work out, here's an advanced one. You want to pick two notes on one string and one on the next. Or one note on one string and two on the next. I seem to be needing a little bit of work on that. But uh, there's your lesson on speed picking. I'll get into more de detail of some other cool stuff later on, specific exercises to develop your speed. I hope this helps. Uh, it's worked for me and many students. So, get your, uh, get your picking on. And soon enough, you'll be playing faster than you would ever need to. Pretty much. All right. This is Robot at MusicHopper.com. There's my little lesson on some speed picking ideas that I do. And hopefully this will help you out. I'll talk to you soon. You have a good one. Get your metronome on.